Welcome to our encouragement and prayer. I want to thank you for watching the video and sharing the video with your family and your friends so together we can be an encouragement to others and together we can share the gospel. Today I'm reading from Acts chapter 13 verse 48. When the non-Jewish people in the crowd heard these words, they were thrilled and they honored the word of the Lord. All who believed that they were destined to experience eternal life received the message. Paul and Barnabas were called out from Antioch. They went to Perga in Turkey. They stood up to give a word of encouragement to Jews and non-Jews who were worshiping God. The message of encouragement was that Jesus was the one who was prophesied about. Jesus being from David's lineage, it was prophesied that Jesus would be executed even though he had done no wrong. Then they, then they told everyone they were witnesses to Jesus' burial and that he had risen from the dead. The Jewish leaders did not recognize or understand the prophecies. With the rejection of the Jewish leaders, the message went out to the nations and offered the message of salvation to everyone. Hearing the message of salvation, you should be honored that the Lord wants you to hear this message and be thrilled that you can experience eternal life if only you believe. This is all you have to do to receive eternal life. Just believe. You do not or cannot add anything to receiving eternal life. Believe Jesus is God. You are a sinner and ask for forgiveness. You will be saved. But Lord, I want to pray right now that somebody that is listening, they will hear the message they will be thrilled that the message was sent to them and they will honor what the Lord is telling them that they can have eternal life that only through believing that Jesus is God that he died for them on the cross taking on their sins and that he rose from the grave that they can have eternal life. I pray this thing in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to give you the opportunity right now, after hearing the gospel message, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. To have him come into your life and to lead you and for you to have a relationship with him. Just pray with me right now and repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I acknowledge that the separation between us is because of my sin. I confess that I have sinned and have fallen far short of your glory. I thank you that you sent your son, Jesus, to pay the penalty for my sin. I believe that he died on the cross for me. I believe that you raised him from the dead. I am sorry for my sins and I ask you to forgive and cleanse me. I want to turn away from everything the Bible calls sin and receive Jesus as my Lord, Master, and Savior. Help me to love, serve, and obey you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you prayed that prayer with a sincere heart, Believing that Jesus is God, He is now part of you, 
you melt this in you. I ask you to continue to pray to the Father, asking Him to lead you, to guide you, to teach you, to fill you with the Holy Spirit as you read His Word and listen to what He he has to say to you to live the life that He wants you to live, pure, holy, and sinless.